here we have everything we need to make a liquid culture. Right here is our pressure canner uh, cooker. And here's the top for it. Make sure you get one with a gauge on top. And also this topper that goes on top of the pressure valve up there. It's gonna work a lot better with the weighted one. This is just the regular one that you'll get especially if you're at high elevation, like in the mountains or something, you'll probably need the weighted one. Here we have some measuring spoons, something that's measured in milliliters. That's what I'm using. Here we have a filter jar with an injection port. I have another video where I show you how to make these. It's very simple. And here I have my organic light malt extract. This is my grain-based sugar that I'm gonna be mixing with the water to make the liquid culture. There's a lot of other things you can use, like honey or other sugars, but in my experience, this works great. And I just have some tin foil that I'm gonna put on the top of the filter jar when I'm sterilizing it. So for this recipe, I'm gonna be using about 400 milliliters of water. And here I have, this is a half teaspoon, or a 2.5 milliliter. Um, and I'm gonna use a just less than a quarter of a gram of organic light mold extract. So, it's gonna be very little. About that much. As you can see, it's very little and it goes a long way. You just put it in there and you can stir it up. it's stirred up you can put the lid back on we're gonna put putting this tin foil on just so that it, the mixture stays safe inside of the pressure canner we're gonna set our liquid culture in here gonna put it on hot water so that it heats up faster and we're just filling up the water until it's at about the same level as the water is inside of the jar that should be good we put our pressure cooker on the stove we could go ahead and turn it on high the lid on top press down and turn it so that it's sealed on there now we're gonna let this heat up and once we see that the gauge reaches around 10 psi then we're gonna turn down the heat a little bit so that it doesn't go too high. And when you're sterilizing something, generally the higher the pressure, the faster it's going to sterilize. But since this is not the weighted topper, I cannot go too high of a pressure or else steam will leak out of here and I will lose steam and I'll run the risk of running my pressure cooker dry and if you do that it will combust and explode and it could result in injury or even worse so when you're doing this with a regular household pressure cooker you really need to keep an eye on it at all times so here we're at about 14 13 psi 
I'm lowering down the the heat. Putting this, starting this at an hour and a half. Um, just because it's under PSI and it's a small jar, if it was more stuff in there, I might have to go longer. But uh, just keep an eye on this and keep checking back every few minutes and keep fluctuating the heat until an hour and a half is up. Just keep it over 11 PSI. So usually when the pressure is getting too high, you can also hear the the topper moving and the steam coming out. So you know you should probably check on it. For this one, once it goes over 20 PSI, it can also blow up. So once it's fully depressurized, you can take this off. And that'll depressurize it quicker if you take the topper off. But once it's at zero, then you can actually open this up. But beware, because it's still going to be hot and steamy if you don't leave it for a while uh, when you open it up. So I would open it up this way without holding any of your hands or arms over the sides, because it can be pretty hot too, enough to burn you. Once you got the lid off, once it's done, you can pull it up. Beware, it's really hot. You can see it's changed color now. It's kind of yellowish. That's what we want. That's a good, it's a good liquid culture. And we're just gonna let this cool down. And then once it's cool, we can take this spoil off and we can inoculate it with our liquid culture or spores, or whatever. So when it's all cooled down and ready to go, you take your liquid culture syringe, you're gonna flame sterilize the tip. Once it's red hot, you can see it's red hot. Also, by the way, I, I sterilized the whole area with alcohol. And I'm going to push it in there and inject about two cc liquid culture in there. And in a few days, you should see some liquid culture start building up in there. It's going to start looking like this after a month or so. And, you know, that's a healthy, good looking liquid culture you can use to inoculate other liquid cultures or inoculate grain spawn and grow out your mushrooms. Thank you for watching. I hope this. this goes good for you if you have any questions concerns or anything else you want to see leave it down in the comments below leave a like if you want to and subscribe for more videos just like this thank you so much